Sitting in class, I can feel myself grow self-conscious. My anxiety rises, and I begin to question my worth, my purpose, and my looks. These feelings carry with me throughout the day, and I begin to isolate myself. Many people don't understand how to interact when they see Tourette syndrome in public. Can anyone think of any popular tics they might have seen, like in media, that represent Tourette's? Yes? Yelling curse words. Yelling curse words. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Um, that's one that we see a lot. There's actually a lot of different tics. For example, um, I have eye blinking and darting. It causes me to get really bad headaches. <laughs> um, head jerking, shoulder jerking, um, nose twitching. And then other vocal ones that you might not have like thought were a vocal tick were sniffling. I have that one. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, and uh, calling out and repeating words. Representation is weak, though, and it only highlights a small portion of ticks and Tourette's. The media gives misinformation that causes people to have less understanding about Tourette's, and then they make some unfunny jokes. <laughs> um, how common do we believe that Tourette's is? Yeah? Pretty rare. Pretty rare? OK. All right. Well, it actually might be more common than you would think. Um, according to the Cleveland Clinic, uh, it affects one out of every 100 to 160 children. Um, it's passed down through families. It's a genetic disorder. Um, and it also affects boys more, typically, than girls. Um, but when girls do have it, they improve less with age. Um, for a diagnosis, <laughs> uh, you need to have three ticks to be diagnosed um, that have to have lasted for over a year. Uh, one, of, one of the ticks should be uh, vocal, and the other two should be motor. When I was little, I had so many different ones where I'd shake. I would just shake, um, and I would have, like, kind of like I was yelling vocally, um, and that was what got me diagnosed. Um, and when I was diagnosed, they offered me Adderall, but I was seven years old, and my mom was not going to give her seven-year-old daughter Adderall when I'm, I was learning just fine, <laughs> so not really the thing. <laughs> But there is no cure. If you have Tourette's, you have Tourette's for the rest of your life. <laughs> um, but there are some people that you might not know who have Tourette's syndrome, uh, such as Billie Eilish, Louis Capaldi, Howie Mandel, other comedians, actors, and athletes, and the guy from Ghostbusters. Uh, though Tourette's is so common, most people don't know how to interact when they see it in public. Uh, according to the National Library of Medicine, representation has created false beliefs and stereotypes. Um, most commonly in media, we see a form of Tourette's called coprolia. Um, it only affects 1 in 10 people with Tourette's. And this is the form that's like you yell out curse words all the time. I'm sure all of you have seen it. All of you know about it. But um, so here's some media. Po very popular. I've seen all these things that joke. Uh, how to lose a guy in 10 days, for example. Um, the guy punches somebody, and then he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I have Tourette's. Boring. Um, in Wedding Crashers, um, they're at a funeral, actually, and then one of the guys keeps yelling the F word. And the other one is like, I'm so sorry, he has Tourette's. I'm sorry. Um, lazy. Anyways, in South Park, as we all know, South Park is fairly offensive and um, not the best show that you would just go to when you're trying to learn about like a disability or a problem in the world, I guess. <laughs> um, but actually, I was watching it recently with my boyfriend. And um, in the episode, there's like a bunch of little kids who have Tourette's. And they talk about what they go through on a daily basis because of that. And um, one of the main South Park kids was being ableist and making fun of Tourette's. So he had to go sit with these kids and learn from them. And um, we were watching, and my boyfriend was like, oh my gosh, what? I had no idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyways, if you would have asked, but whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but I just think that it is really disappointing that the best representation I have seen in all 18 years of my life is South Park. Um, but some jokes are funny. Most are not. I would, I would avoid making a joke at the expense of people with Tourette's syndrome. But um, this is the 2019 joke of the year. I 
I'm, I'm not going to read the joke. I just think it's I just think it's a bad joke for one. Like even if it wasn't making fun of an entire group of people all over the world, it's just not that funny. So I'm not going to read it. But um, yeah, he won that in 2019, and the Tourette's Association demanded an apology because. He's making fun of so many different people and he's profiting off of it, which me and anybody else who has Tourette's will probably agree that that's really unfair. <clears throat> um, the American Disability Act actually addresses that Tourette's syndrome is a disability. Um, it affects people, some, sometimes they can't go to school, they can't go to work, uh, they can't drive a car. I wasn't able to drive until like very recently. Um, just because I am scared that I can't control my tics. Um, and some people, like, they leave their house and they hurt themselves. And they could hurt other people. Um, and that's just, it's not funny. It's really serious and it really affects a lot of people. Um, and that's why it's considered a disability. <laughs> um, but it is a very misrepresented disorder that deserves recognition and respect from everybody. Um, I'm a safe person to go to. If anyone has any questions or comments, I don't really take offense anymore <laughs> after so long. It's kind of hard. But um, I hope all of you feel educated enough to learn about Tourette's and try and go and teach others when you hear ableism in real life. Um, it is Tourette's Awareness Month right now. Tourette's Awareness Month is from June 15th, or May 15th to June 15th. Um, so yeah. Happy Tourette's Awareness Month, everybody. Thank you for listening.